Welcome back. This is Computer Red on News Radio WJPF. And for this show, we have an old standby, I guess you could call him, Scott Richards from Antec. Welcome back, Scott. Hey, Ed. It's great to be back. Thanks for having me again. Well, what we're going to do is we're getting ready to come into the Christmas shopping season. So we want to talk about what's coming up, what people should be looking for. I mean, you're getting ready to buy maybe some new parts for the geek in your life. Maybe they're going to build a new computer. And I thought, let's open the door, let Antec tell us what they've got coming up. So go for it, Scott. Well, Ed, uh, boy, uh, you, you leave the field wide open for me. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, depending on where your your computer geek is uh, in terms of the price and, and uh, uh, sophistication and, you know, I mean, of course, everybody always wants to get the best. But uh, one, of the, one of the things we know at Antec is we want to give people the best we can give them at, at every possible price point. And that's why uh, earlier this year we finally uh, introduced some cases at uh, new price points. Our 300 of course, uh, has been very popular for like the last year or so at, say, around the $70 uh, or so price point. But we came out with a new case, the 200 uh, really kind of a budget case for gamers, but, you know, uh, the reviews have been pretty positive in terms of its cooling ability and some of the, the functionality that it has, uh, you know, even compared to other cases at that $60 or so price point. So uh, that's one piece that uh, I think people might want to take a look at. Uh, I think uh, um, we've, you know, uh, seen that, that people really enjoy the fact that it has a hot swap uh, uh, serial ATA hard drive functionality. You know, um, a lot of people built into the case, I should say, um, a lot of people pay for external devices to do exactly that. That costs nearly as much as this case. So here you're getting it all in, 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 one, in one place uh, and in a much nicer uh, form factor than an external uh, uh, caddy just sitting next to your computer. And uh, also, of course, it has uh, a built-in cooling that Antec's famous for and, uh, you know, you know, quite a few other nice features uh, at a very reasonable price point. So now, the 200 is something people should be looking for. You comment on that price point. You know, that's that's an interesting subject. Let's take a minute and stop there. It used to be that with the do-it-yourself for market, when it came to cases, you were looking at a price point of $100, $120. And now, between the Antec 200 and 300, you've got some pretty capable cases within a 75 to $50 price point. Are you guys finding that these are becoming the hot sellers because of the economy now? Uh, well, you know, um, last year at CES, which uh, for those of your followers that don't know, is the annual consumer electronics show that happens every year the first uh, week of January in, in Las Vegas, um, we previewed a new case uh, for the high-end uh, part of our business called the P1000. That was the, the code name. And at, at the time, you, if you recall, it wasn't clear by January exactly where all this economic stuff was headed. It didn't look good, but nobody could say for sure. And then shortly after CS, it became real clear that, that we were kind of in a new world. And so we put a hold on that. I mean, that's still out there as a prototype that we're going to kick back in because we still want to show people what we can do in terms of the state of the art. But we thought, well, you know, what we really need to do is give people the most we can at the low price point to answer the economic imperatives of our time. Because if we don't, somebody else will. And, you know, but it was important to us that we did that without violating, you know, the trust and, and the uh, implicit uh, quality promise of the Antec brand name. So uh, it took it it, it. it was a little bit more difficult than you might think, but we did it in record time in terms for us for a case development. Usually from from concept to to factory uh, it, production is for us is usually around a year or so. Um, in this case, uh, we were able to do that in about four and a half months. So it was a, a record development. But the but like like you say, I mean the 200 is response to the economic environment. We put as much in as we could at at that price point. Um, we've had some criticisms, you know, in some ways that, you know, it, it, there are certain features that people don't like because they expect a certain level of quality uh, uh, from Antec. But, you know, um, we don't think that any of the choices that we made are lower quality. You know, people might quibble with what you've got to do, but you, but you want to hit a price point, you know, and, and, and you want to get people the most you can 
for their money, which is which has kind of always been our credo, whether we're you know developing a hundred and fifty dollar case or, or or sixty or fifty dollar case. So, in the case of the two hundred, then because I've commented on this as well, the two hundred feels some of the features are what you expect to find in more expensive cases. So when we look at this, it's not the typical marketing approach with this price point. We're not looking at, well, this is for the beginners that that really don't want to spend much money. You've really designed this case more for everybody with reducing the price. Right. I think that, I think that's right. I mean, I mean, somebody that that still wants to get a nice graphics card. And now they say, "Oh, look at this! You know, I can maybe I can get by with the 200. The cooling's good enough. It fits, you know, the power supply design that I like. Blah, you know, and 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 so now I could spend an extra forty dollars on my graphics card, which you know ultimately has the biggest bigger impact right. in terms of the quality of your computing experience. Uh, instead of getting a, you know, in, instead of putting in the case. I mean, so yeah, that's exactly uh, what we were trying to do. So while it is positioned price wise as an entry level case, it certainly has features that, as you rightly point out, only more sophisticated users uh, can appreciate. But that's a good thing because even entry level people, if they buy it, they can use it today, they can use it as an entry level case, but it's got room for them to grow into its functionality and features too. Okay. You know, and it's like buying it's like, it's like it's like buying you know you uh, kind of your first of of anything that's nice uh you know i mean you know you do if you, you know like if you never had a high definition television you might be tempted like well i'll do oh, boy i'll be satisfied with even a cheap one but but you but you know like you're going to keep it for five years right so maybe you better at least get a pretty decent one even if you can't appreciate all the features and benefits right off the bat because you're well, going to have it for a while well we won't call it cheap because i have told my listeners repeat repeatedly that cheap is the politically correct word for junk but what we will <laughs> say what we will say is it's a value oriented product okay yeah i'm sorry that is a poor <laughs> poor choice of word though. 